We're in the middle of a bit of a tutorial series on Layout Builder. I'm covering my favorite add-on modules for Basic Layout Builder and giving you a few tips along the way. In this one, we're going to talk about Layout Builder blocks. Hi. My name is Rod Martin. This is OS Tips from OS Training. And I got to tell you, I'm pretty passionate about Layout Builder. We have a course over to OS Training. I'll mention it later. But it's just an amazing tool to build Drupal websites super quickly and give content editors and site builders a lot of flexibility in how they lay out the pages on their site. So in this section, we're going to talk about Layout Builder blocks. It's over at Drupal.org, project layout underscore builder underscore blocks. And all it does is it adds bootstrap styles to your blocks. Now, in our first video, we did bootstrap layout builder, which gives us bootstrap styles for our sections. This now gives it to us for our blocks. It's really super and it's easy to install with Composer. Now, what does that look like? I'm over here at our starter site on gitpod.io. And if I head over to extend and I've already installed it, of course. Down here under Layout Builder Blocks, there's not much to configure here. You can turn on and turn off individual blocks. If you don't check anything here, they're all available. And typically, that's exactly how I leave it. When I'm on a landing page, then, if I click Add Block, all of the styles are now available to me in Bootstrap, including background colors. And I've added a few. We'll cover that in another video. Images and, of course, YouTube videos, as well as colors, alignment, spacing, borders, shadows, and animations. All of the Bootstrap styles from sections are now available in blocks. By the way, this is popping up in a modal because of another module we'll talk about later. Again, all of the modules I'm highlighting are here at the additional modules page for Layout Builder. Now, these again, they're just my favorites, the ones I found to be helpful. They created the least amount of friction when I installed them and implemented them on my starter site. Well, I know this was a bit of a quick one, but together with Bootstrap Layout Builder and Layout Builder Blocks, it just gives so much flexibility to your layouts. Don't forget, We'll cover how to add CSS styles in an upcoming video. So make sure you subscribe and hit the notification button to make sure you see those videos as they come. Well, thanks for joining me today. This has been OS Tips from OS Training. My name's Rod Martin. We'll see you next time. <laughs>